morning guys uh, this video is rather late and i'm sorry for that i've been having a little bit of a migraine and from my voice i'm a little bit down with flu so i'm sorry for that but we gotta do what we gotta do so in this video i'm just gonna be talking about the first chaotic day in the big brother niger house guys if you haven't been following this show i don't know what we are doing but if you've been following it come closer let's have a discussion because what is really going on Big Brother has been feeding us. This housemate has been feeding us. Big Brother has been pulling out tricks, twist, front, right, center. And this housemate has been keeping us entertained, guys. And it's only just one full day. It's only one full day yesterday. And today, they've continued with the, their entertainment. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. But first of all, let's talk about our married couple, guys. Yes, Keshia and Keriri. Guys, this housemate, they've been called, they came into the house married but to the other housemate they are besties and the way they've been behaving for me if they didn't tell us that they were married with the way they are behaving someone might suggest okay something is going on with these two maybe they are not married but they might be in a relationship Shima was the first housemate to notice that something is going on with Keisha and Kiriri and she's been talking to Zion and in the conversation they had yesterday I posted a video about it they've been trying to get any girl that looks like Keisha in the name of Anita or Victoria to go and seduce Kiriri and then get a guy that looks exactly or is built like Kiriri to go and seduce Keisha and guys the plan is in motion can someone tell me why Toby spent the whole night talking to a married woman being all romantic being all friendly trying to seduce a married woman guys to be honest with you i like what Keisha was doing Keisha was uh, engaging him Keisha was playing dumb Keisha was doing everything to make sure that toby spills what he has in mind and toby has a sharp guy he's taking it slowly 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 and uh, i would like to see how that relationship or how that friendship is going to develop but on the other hand Kelly, oh guys, Kelly, I don't think Kelly is going to survive this. I don't think Kelly is going to survive what these housemates are planning for him. Because if you notice watching from this show, whenever Kelly sees a guy closer to the wife or sees someone eyeing the wife, you can see Kelly's demeanor. You can say that no, he's hurting from this. He's hurting from I don't know why he and the wife will agree to come and do a show like Big Brother. But I, I hope at the end of this show, that their marriage stands tall, that their marriage keeps going. Because I don't want to hear a, a story of they came out and then they decided they don't like each other anymore. These people have been dating for 10 years for crying out loud. So let them continue. The next couple that we are going to be talking about, guys, is the Zingwe pair. Guys, these two housemates, <laughs> these two housemates, they are the book that they've been doing in that house. They are the book that they've been doing in that house. And I think the relationship they have outside the house, is that kind of relationship where once you come home, you table everything you went through that day, and then your wife tables everything they went through that day, and then the two of you will not discuss. So to see them showing that kind of I'm a boy in the house, I'm I'm just happy to see that okay, they are building their relationship and they are also growing as human beings and also giving us something to talk about because without them, we wouldn't know everything that is going on inside the house. And guys, the next people I'm going to talk, holy shit. I wasn't familiar with their game. I was not familiar with their game. Guys, I'm talking about the twins. You see those twins? Those twins are going to cause fire. Those twins are fire and brimstone. In their intro video, they were talking about, oh, someone is fire, someone is ice. No. Both of them are fire and brimstone. Yes, how many of you noticed that almost everything they've been doing in that house, they've been doing it in a sequential manner. I'm talking about the same way, the, the dress that they wore. They wear the same dress every day. And guys, let's not forget that these two people are identical twins. Identical. Imagine if one day they decided to switch badge. Yo, what would happen? Even I watching the show, I'll, I'll be confused. Even I watching the show, I am confused. And I'm sure Big Brother is daily confused. And the housemates, no, the housemates are confused as well. Because tell me why these two housemates will keep peppering the other housemate, doing everything in sequence, doing everything together. If they are eating, they are eating together. If they are, uh, if they are, if they are dancing, they are dancing together. And they are gossip, guys. They gossip together and they gossip with meaning. They tell us things that we didn't see. They tell us everything going on in the house. And I have to say, 
I wasn't familiar with Wani's game. Yo! I was not familiar with Wani's game. Guys, Wani of the Wani X Handy and Sean. Sure, 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 sure. Guys, these two housemates, I think they are the first in house relationship that we are going to be working with now. Because others came in as, as uh, husband and wife, some came in as friends, but inside the house, they are the first genuine relationship that has started inside the house and guys am i loving it i am loving it i am enjoying everything all their midnight session all the holding hands guys yesterday sean was grabbing one these ass yo and she was there sleeping comfortably in the arms of his of of his lover guys that is giving nollywood ram Sinua and Genevieve Nunaji kind of vibe and I am liking it. I am I am loving it. And guys, I have to also give shout out to Big Brother because sure Big Brother was pulling tricks. Phew! Custodian challenge. Custodian lock-in. Phew! Head of house twist. Phew! Guys, immunity. The immunity. And to top it all up, Big Brother nominated the whole housemate. Yo, guys, we are in for a long run. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you are waiting for. I hopefully don't know what you are. I don't know what you are waiting for. So, so kindly subscribe to this channel, drop us a like, and share your thoughts down below in the comment section. What is it about this season that has kept you glued to your TV? Is it the diversity? Is it the shipping? Or is it the strategizing between these housemates? Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.